where am I supposed to go? I don't, I can't go up. I can't go back. Huh. I guess the only way I can go is out. Out. These people put me in here. I'm not sure if they knew how tall I could get. But I can get pretty tall. So please keep that in mind when you plant me somewhere. Because I, I feel a little confined in here. Yes, yes, yes. That's my Pachypodium lemuria I planted 20 years ago. <laughs> Never thinking that this day would come. But, uh, look at this thing. No, wow, it looks like a curling wave. Um, just big enough to get underneath. Full stand-up barrel. Um, anyway, there it is. Look how beautiful and green this is. So pretty. So this is a succulent. It's actually called the Madagascar palm. It's not really a palm. It's a succulent from eastern uh, uh, Madagascar in the thorn forest. There's actually three of them here. These are individual plants. They can actually multi-trunk, but in this case, you have three individual plants. It makes this gorgeous, really interesting uh, thorny trunk, followed by uh, this just most lush green looking top to it and um yeah you know i've always been kind of thinking hmm what will be the fate of my madagascar palm well it's actually not just palm it's palms and today is a particularly noteworthy sad day <laughs> oh. you know you never know when life is perfect until it's not so uh today is the day that uh my perfection has uh, vanished in this area here. Can anybody tell me why? Let me see if I can give you a hint. You're getting warmer, 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 hot, red hot. Yeah, okay, you got it, you saw it. This poor guy, I guess maybe I just didn't water it enough and then the cell tissue couldn't support it and it collapsed, which is a total bummer. I think I might be able to root this, so I'm gonna give it a try. If I cut it here, I'll probably get babies coming out, but then that kind of destroys the whole sort of, I don't want a big bushy mess right there. One problem we were having is we come out of this door and we walk this way and uh, that thing was in your face. And I kept thinking, what am I gonna do? I twisted it a little bit. I'm wondering too, if somebody walked by it and kind of hit it and then it caused this collapse but anyway, uh, this plant does not want frost. It really uh, would defoliate and not look so good. It, it, it probably survives down to 25 degrees, but the foliage is gonna evaporate around 30. So that's why I tucked it back in here. There's no way frost can get in here. This is the south face right here. And uh, this is a wonderful application uh, in this space. Perfect spot for a Pachypodium marii. Now at the nursery, we are getting really bald and we are uh, planting these plants outside uh, in the open air. It's a little theoretically more frost-free there, but uh, arguably not. Uh, it's closer to the bay, but we're higher up in elevation. So the cold air is heavy, it sinks. The bay is warm, it gives off warmth, but it depends on the type of freeze. It's uh, probably splitting hairs to say which place has the lowest temperature. But um, we actually planted one of these, and they want really good drainage, so it's in the pot, so it drains out really good. But uh, at the nursery, what we did was we put it in a big giant mound of gravel and sand and kind of like a cactus mix. And uh, it's a big multi-headed plant. It's a little, little bit of an experiment and it's in our demonstration garden. So you gotta come down and check it out. And it's in the open air, you know, it's just gonna do what it does. It's, it's not gonna be coddled with this perfect little microclimate like these guys in here. But I guess I'm just gonna have a triple and a double and we'll have you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go with the asymmetry sort of feeling and design rather than the exact symmetry. Plus, I'm sorry to see you go. I'll probably just cut you down and uh, try to root you. And then uh, maybe you'll find a happy home someday somewhere else. So I'm very sorry this happened to you. And um, thank you for uh, giving us all of the love and beauty for some years. End of story.